Hello, BAFTA Kids at Home with Place to Be. How are you doing? I'm Naomi Wilkinson, just checking in with you really. See, how's it going in lockdown? Are you bearing up? Are you managing to find enough things to do to keep you busy and occupied and happy? I really hope so. And I hope that everybody you locked down with is not, let's just say, getting on your nerves too much. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. We're gonna get through this together. We are. So what is getting you through lockdown? I'll tell you what's getting me through it. Nature. Oh, I've loved the chance to just take a breath and watch spring unfold, watch all the blossom on the trees come and go. That was beautiful on my daily walks. And now it's all turning green out there, isn't it? And all the flowers are starting to pop and bloom. Um, and I love watching all the birds and listening to the birds. I mean, you've heard so much bird song with everything just being a little bit quieter, all the traffic noise being so much less. Um, so it's been lovely to just listen to the birds and you don't even need a garden to be able to do that. You've just got to open your ears and you don't need a garden space to see the birds because you just look up. And there they are going about their business, making their nests, being super busy. We've got a couple of regular visitors in our garden. We've got a woodpecker who comes to see us most days. We've got a blackbird that comes and sings its head off at night. Beautiful sound. Um, got a little collared dove. We've got so many birds. If you feed them, they come to your garden. So I recommend putting some feeders out if you haven't already. They're super simple to make. I've given you a couple of ideas on my YouTube channel so you can check that out. Music is such an important part of the recipe of making films and television and gaming and it just makes us all feel connected with one another. So during lockdown, I've loved being involved with BBC 10 Pieces at Home. They've got some really good ideas uh, with sharing music and memories to just make those people that we can't visit at the moment feel really loved and special. So. Thoroughly recommend checking out some of their ideas and bringing a bit of music into your life. It's good for your soul. The other thing I've been doing is making my own little homemade children's programme. I've been doing children's telly for 20 years. We can't make Mary and Mum and Dad at the moment as we were supposed to be. So I thought, I'll make a children's programme at home. Why not? So I got in touch with my dad, said, could you make some nursery rhyme backings for me? Because he's a musician. He did that. And uh, so that's been really nice because it's meant I've communicated with my dad loads more than I ordinarily would. Uh, then I've been singing the songs, I've been choreographing the dances, doing them in the garden. I dread to think what my neighbours think. Um, and then editing it all together. So hopefully you found a nice little creative project that you've thrown yourself into because I find those sort of things really do take up loads of your mind space. Um, a lot of time as well. And then if you come out with something at the end that you're quite proud of that you've produced, that's just a really nice feeling. All right then, so let me give you a few recommendations of things that I like to watch now or I used to enjoy watching, just in case you might like to watch them too. And I'm going to start off with my favourite family film of all time. It's Labyrinth. Oh, I love that film. I think I know it word for word. Anything that Jim Henson touched, in my opinion, turned to gold. I used to love The Muppet Show as a kid. I loved Bear in the Big Blue House when I used to present that on Milkshake. That was one of my all-time favourites. But honestly, the film Labyrinth, Sarah goes into this maze and all the mysterious characters she meets along the way. It's so magical. It's so fun. I won't give any spoilers away, but I really think that film has stood the test of time and it's just well worth a watch. My top favourite TV show is EastEnders. <laughs> Much to my husband's disapproval. Um, I've watched it since it began. I watch every episode, every single one, and I'll catch up on iPlayer if I miss it. I just like to keep up with all the drama on the square. Oh, yes, I do. Ah, favourite family film is a really hard one because there are so many. I think it's going to be a toss-up between two. Controversially, Back to the Future 2. Yeah, I like the sequel best. But that's quite good because that means you've got to watch the first one as well before you watch the second one because they're all really good. And I used to love Michael J. Fox. Uh, my other favourite is Mary Poppins. Both such feel-good films, just make you happy, all full of songs. And I think the combination of animation with live action when it came out was just so groundbreaking. And in my humble opinion, the moment where Dick Van Dyke dances with those animated penguins, that is one of the happiest moments in movie history. Fact. Right, you ready for a film charade? Can you guess the film? Yes, it was 80s classic Karate Kid. I don't think Daniel LaRusso made that grunting sound when he did the move. 
I used to play a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog when I was young. I used to love that. Bring, bring, bring. How did the tune go? Oh, I can't remember the tune. Oh, happy memories. I think I got all the way to the end once. Must have played it for way too many hours. My husband's loving NBA 2K20 and Tennis Clash. He's playing a lot of those during lockdown. And we've been playing some game pigeon games with my family over Zoom. So that's been quite nice during lockdown as well. I've enjoyed that. And that's it from me. Just a few little ideas of things you might like to try watching if you haven't seen them before. I'll keep my fingers crossed you enjoy watching them as much as I did. So uh, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll hope to see you from CBBC very soon. Ta-da! Thank you.